Hi, and welcome to Winair Video's June 23rd flyover of the Gordie Howe Bridge Project. There is always something new happening, and today's video won't disappoint. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is now approximately 95% complete, with construction crews making significant strides since May 2025. Recent weeks have seen the installation and testing of key systems, including lighting, toll and payment infrastructure, and government security systems at both the Canadian and U.S. ports of entry. The bridge deck and structural connections were completed in mid-2024, and since then, attention has shifted to finishing touches and operational testing. A major milestone this month is the nearing completion of the modular expansion joint between the road approaches and the bridge deck. This sophisticated component, essential for accommodating temperature related movement and structural loads, has required careful multi-week installation. The process, which began in late May, is expected to wrap up by early July marking one of the last major structural tasks before full-scale operation testing begins. Signage for traffic management is now being installed throughout the project area. This includes overhead and roadside signs guiding vehicles to the bridge and through the new customs plazas. Clearly marked lanes for commercial trucks passenger vehicles, and the new multi-use pathway for pedestrians and cyclists. Directional signage at the Highway 401 interchange, ensuring seamless entry and exit for both eastbound and westbound traffic. I'd like a moment to ask for your subscription. It's a great way to support the channel and really does help reach more like-minded viewers. It's free to subscribe, so click the subscribe button and join our growing community. I do appreciate your support and look forward to your comments. Temporary traffic control devices and electronic message boards are also in place to guide construction vehicles and to alert the public that the bridge is not open yet, despite the visible completion of many systems. Stormwater management ponds and green spaces are taking shape with some areas showing significant growth in coverage thanks to favorable spring weather.
Landscaping around the Canadian Plaza and along the bridge approaches is advancing rapidly. Newly planted trees, shrubs, and pollinator-friendly prairie grasses are already beginning to fill in, softening the appearance of the infrastructure and providing early habitat benefits. Conservation features, such as relocated at-risk plants and planned peregrine falcon nesting box, are part of the broader environmental commitments. Lighting installation is one of the most anticipated features this summer. System-wide testing of thousands of white LED lights on the bridge deck, towers, and plazas has begun and will continue through the summer months. These lights serve dual purposes. Functional illumination for safety and security across the bridge plazas and approaches. A high-profile artistic lighting display designed by renowned Canadian artist Douglas Copeland while well, the final design will not be unveiled until later in 2025, the lighting system can produce both dynamic and static effects using 5,000 individually controlled white LEDs. Copeland's concept aims to reflect the region's dynamism and cross-border connections, with sequences that may evoke themes such as the rebirth of Detroit, the transformation of the auto industry, and the bridge's role as a symbol of unity. The lighting display is expected to become a visual landmark, with the ability to animate the bridge in subtle and dramatic ways using variations in white light. No new delays have been reported this month, and project officials reaffirm the commitment to a fall opening like in October or November, depending on a final testing and weather conditions. However, there is growing concern about the economic impact of recent U.S.-Canada trade tensions, particularly proposed tariffs on Canadian vehicles and parts. Some commentators warn that these developments could affect cross-border traffic volumes and toll revenues, raising questions about the bridge's long-term financial projections. Despite these concerns, construction progress and operational preparations continue as planned. I enjoy the community engagement. We keep it light and friendly in an otherwise chaotic world. So join the conversation and let me know what you think in the comments. I will reply. June 2025 saw the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project enter its final phase. With critical systems being tested, signage and landscaping progressing, and the much anticipated lighting display beginning trial runs, the bridge remains on schedule for the fall of 2025 opening, with no new construction setbacks reported this month. The project continues to draw attention for its engineering achievements, artistic ambitions, and its role in shaping the future of cross-border trade and travel between Canada and the United States. Like and subscribe. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.